Mm. It's at least two steak dinners for that shack now. Got the gun up in price. Aye, no house red that night. But we always talk about, you know, centered sh uh, strikes in a neutral CG position. So clean, path and face are so good. Makes sense. Spins in a good window, launches A1. Yeah. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are fresh off the back of the comeback, call it a comeback, so one of the comebacks, Tiger's recent, most recent comeback. Christmas came early for myself. Yep, it wasn't the only one. <laughs> and um, having Tiger in the field was amazing and we were able to sort of pick apart some of the things he's been working on when he's been away. And the thing that stood out to most, it was a bit of a talking point over the weekend, uh, maybe not the weekend, actually prior to uh, the tournament start, was new driver shaft driver to play shaft. for Tiger. Yeah, and I will say, credit to Tiger Woods, he, I thought he striped it on the weekend. He did. His driving has actually got remarkably yeah. better. Kind of like lower, a little bit flatter yeah. kind of draws. Um, ball speed was up. Um, but yeah, he's using the new Graphite Design VF. He is indeed. He's uh, he's in the new tailor-made head. Uh, we obviously are yet, to, we're about a month away from being able to really dive in to the details on that. Um, but what we can talk about is obviously the new Graphite Design VF mm -hmm. shaft that he was in. Um, huge thanks to Eric Boyson over at Graphite Design over at Pro's Choice. Uh, Eric is the tour rep for Graphite Design out in the PGA Tour. And it was amazing to spend some time in the phone with Eric just hear a little bit about the process uh, of how did Tiger end up changing out from the Ventus mm -hmm. uh, shaft that he had. That's one that obviously he was, he's was he been a Mitsubishi guy for the longest time. Yeah. Moving into uh, Fuji and Ventus was, you know, a move he made, I want to say, was it last year? Maybe? Yeah, last year last he dabbled year with some Ventus, yeah. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe a year or so anyway. Um, so for him to make a move like that, he doesn't make those moves easily. No, and he was a big graphite design guy back in the day, obviously. DI. Well, we would say, yeah, made DI famous, the, the mm -hmm. orange and, and white shaft. And yeah. the amount of times customers still come through the door and go, was oh, that the Tiger yeah. Wood shaft? Um, it is it's a personal favorite. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he's back to the graphite design family, which is cool. Well, the great thing was uh, was with Tiger, obviously, last week he had some speed, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, it wasn't like he was out there just kind of limping about and, and kind of you know, hitting little little kind of bunty ones around the golf course. I mean, his cruising speed was in the mid 170s, and he's going to need something pretty stable. And the VF is exactly that, Mikey. Yeah, uh, it is designed for the modern golf swing. Eric described it to me like the 190, 190 pound, six foot three college player. Mm. That was who was in mind when Smart. they developed VF. Really, uh, sort of utilizing the the, the, the latest and, and best materials out there, um, you know, available to graphite design, always been known for accessing the best uh, in, in sort of materials that are available to shaft manufacturers. Sha uh, a material called MX40 in the handle, Mikey, mm -hmm. making it very, very stout under the handle. And then the mid and tip section is a more familiar T1100 yeah. uh, material in there. So uh, looking at a, a pretty firm, you know, to, to pretty stout handle, you know, a little bit softer, not not soft, but a little bit softer in the midsection and exceptionally um, soft, a stiff, sorry, tip section with the VF designed to handle as much speed as, as you want to, to throw at it. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, to compare for people, it's the hazardous black. Or so what am I saying? Hazardous black, yeah, or Ventus black. Um, it is the Ventus black yeah. competitor um, from uh, Graphite Design. Yeah. But like you said, Eric was saying on the phone, it's for that that new wave of player, that college player who's, you know, 6'6 six, six and just yeah. pounds it. It's, um, yeah, it's cool. It's a great product. Yeah. And you've been using it for a little while. I've been in it for a while. while and them, yeah. Tell you, I mean, yeah, you're striping it. It's nice and straight. Doesn't really move too much on you. But, yeah. I mean, the nice thing you said to me a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago is like, you still feel like you can load it. It doesn't feel mm. harsh or, you know, kind of too hard to, to move with, which is nice. Yeah, I, I think you've nailed it there. That's what this shaft should be known as. It's a dispersion killer. For those of you out there who are struggling with balls that tend to kind of, you know, wipe out on you a little bit and struggle to sort of hit the, the landing spots you're looking at, that's what this is uh, really aimed at. I wouldn't advise the player who's in, in need of the shaft loading mm. to, to really be going into this. I mean, I've actually been dabbling, as, and this is as my speed has gone up, I've actually been dabbling with some softer um, yeah. shafts. Hopefully you don't dabble too long with it. I would like it back. Uh, the, the 5S. So I have a 6X, which I cut at 50, sorry, 45. I have a, a 
5X that is 45 and a half. It actually went slightly longer in the 5S of yours. And I'm finding that I'm kind of going up in length a little bit just to see what it does. And I'm not really hitting it any more offline. No, it's the, it's in the, the last year, it's the straightest I've seen and the tightest dispersion I've seen. Without a doubt. From you, less in the bush, which is good. Which is good, which is good. Make it, uh, make uh, a difference on the golf course. That's really ultimately what we're looking at. So we're going to hit the two uh, and we're gonna, I'm going to talk behind, or talk a little bit about why as, as fitters, we want to use sort of, the option we have from a tipping perspective and, and why we want to kind of almost create these sub-flex categories uh, between one and the other. Um, so let's hit, let's hit the, the 5X, that's what I've been in, mm -hmm. and let's play with the 5S, uh, yep. and, and let's see kind of what's, what are some of the benefits that someone could have. Cool. Okay. Okay, Fries, VF 5X. Yep. Gamer for the last, you've played a few rounds with it already. Yeah, I, I definitely have it in the bag for quite some time. I yeah. just don't think I played any golf at the back end of the season where it actually made its way onto a golf course. Right. So um, mostly bay time. Yeah. And, and like you said, been really impressed mm -hmm. with it. We had it on the range at Bobby Jones Club uh, when we were sort of doing a little bit of filming down there. And we certainly saw some good launch monitor numbers with yeah. it then. So it has been good. I do love the graphics. So good. It's made Sunday for red. Sunday red. I know. Hands kind of saved that one a little yep. bit. Came back for you. Swing. Yeah. A little bit more speed into that. Like we called it earlier, that dispersion killer. I mean, there's a couple earlier that we saw even, you know, maybe a little bit lower of a strike and the thing just doesn't move at all. It's just exactly where, exactly where you want it, straight down the middle. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I do feel like previous shafts have played with this thing for whatever reason. Like I've had to kind of knock the loft down this much, yeah. And and I feel like I actually could touch it or, or nudge it back up again. Mm. There she is. A little higher launch. I just caught it a little lower in the head, Mike. Actually, a bit quicker. Yeah. Working up the gears a little bit, 166. So with 162, 164, 166. I mean, for, a, for an Arnold Palmer finish, yeah, we'll take it. Hell of a miss. Just, it's, it has great misses in it, this mm -hmm. thing. It really Yeah, that's does. that low strike and you get away with it. Yeah. Not quite as quick, but good flight. Okay, Fries, Tour AD VF 5S, two and a half grams lighter than the X. And I can feel it, to you be can. honest. Okay. I really can. It, it feels like this has some load to right. it. Right. Your timing has to change a little bit with it, or? It just feels easier for me. Right, okay. I struggle with shaft. Uh, like, I'm not struggling with that in the slightest no. where it's over there. Um, but I think uh, having something I can actually feel the deflection on, mm -hmm. It, it does help me with right, my timing. Okay. Kind of coming back. Mm -hmm. Felt pretty solid. And I stayed in the air for a while. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit down the right wing, but I'll definitely take some additional carry. Well, additional ball speed too. Yeah, and, and that's just the shaft just loading so much easier. More of a guidey one with that one? Yeah, I mean, just... It has enough in it, to be honest, though, yeah. Mikey, that you don't, I don't really have to probably swing as hard. I will say with the S, even on like, yeah, you get that extra in ball speed, that dispersion does get a little bit wider. It's, it's different. It definitely is different. Like, are you prepared to walk on the line of 10 more? You know, do you feel like on the golf course, like you could still yeah. be as straight? So it's just the age old argument we've done. A dozen videos on that on this yeah. channel. It's just like, are you prepared to sort of have the odd squirrely one for that one? Mm -hmm. Like 171, 116. Well, when, are... you, when you look at the difference, like, yeah, your, your longest or your total average with, with the X is 313. You get, you're seeing more of the 
328. Like, yeah. it's a big difference. The ball speed is, and club head speed, I mean, it's up. Quite a bit. It's definitely up. It's definitely a bit quicker. And I've done a few things, like, I actually put a mid-size on this because going with the extra half inch, I had to offset a little bit of the swing right, weight. Okay. So I'm playing this at like D4.1 or two, right, right around D4, but I had to go up a little bit in, uh, in grip weight, which feels quite nice to be honest. Yeah, okay. There's that. Bernard Langer, Arnold Palmer, not bad. Yeah, you got away with it. 314 and you finish it with one arm. Come back. I was struck. It was hit quite good. Yeah, I mean, both, both are obviously really good. I just think that, that X, and I'm not trying to keep the shaft for myself, I just think the X is, is a dispersion killer. It's, yeah. yeah. Or you can use this one to hit in the bush, whatever. Are you talking about what's best for you or best for me here? Oh, I always think of myself first. Shocker. Get it in there. Put that one back in. Round two. Right, 5X, you better perform. Okay. All right, back to Old Faithful. Yep. The gamer. The should be gamer or? Oh no, it's definitely the gamer. Oh, it's crooked. It's windy, that's why. <laughs> crooked. Do you have a mid-size on that one too? No. Oh, there's, that's see, there's is. the problem. Save her. Oh. One more. Hey, the last couple, you would say maybe a bit more on the miss side of it. Yeah. 16 yards offline, though. It's Dispersion's still good. It's not bad. Great miss. In a couple of weeks, that 5X, you'll be... 170 with no, a couple overall. weeks. You don't need the 5X the way you're no, going. No, no, I like the S. Okay, back to the one that won't work for you. The one that should never play. Is it JT and Tiger use the same shaft? Mike and Ian, they use the same one. You copied me though. Oof. Four. <laughs> Four right. Ooh. You bet toy. 32 yards right. Oof. It sounded different. Yeah, just up the head a little bit. The ball break? Sounded Something funky. cracked, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sounded funky. All right, one more. Then tell me what you think, Guru. Well, I think you should go back to the X flex because you're strong, you know, strong and fast. I've got to, I'll keep the X in the background though, you know, just in case. Mm. God, I lose my speed again, you know. Oh, I... Good Actually, strike. If anything, the little the little fade flight is kind of the one I'm seeing more of with this thing. That ball speed's nuts. Thoughts? That five X has the knuckly one in it for you. They can go a little left, yeah. but. The dispersion, obviously, as you can tell visually, the X is definitely tighter, but that ball speed is hard to give up. I think with, I mean, we had this set up before, the weight is in T2, trying mm. to stop it turning over. We're not really hitting it there anymore. No. So like, I would- Neutralize like, it? Yeah, neutralize that and like, see if, let's see, see if that takes away the shot to the right. Cause like, I'll be honest, I'm looking up not expecting them to go right. I mean, yet another test, Mikey, where for me, softer shafts go right. Because we had, like, all those same settings were with the stiffer shaft. Yeah. So for that one that went straight with the X, I just tend to find that the softer shaft I swing, the more likely I am to leave some lag in the shaft. Yeah, yeah, good point. And then, and, you know, it stays to the right more than anything. So, yeah, we've, we've neutralized this thing. A1 setting, neutral, uh, track weight. Yeah, let's see, let's see what it does. It's, yeah, it's more, it is definitely a more neutral line. Yeah, probably the flight you're, you're expecting to see now. Probably more of that, yeah. It's too bad. You upset? Ah. 
I know people. You do? Yeah, not coming. See, that's that one that you had earlier with when the weight was T2 would have been a lot further right. Yeah. You could play that and not really get in too much trouble. Mm. It's at least two steak dinners for that shaft now. They're going up in price. Aye. No house red that night. But we always talk about CG location of the head matching the strike point, obviously, of the, the, the shot itself. Mm -hmm. We've got, you know, centered sh uh, strikes in a neutral CG position. So clean. Path and face are so good. Makes sense. Spins in a good window. Launch is A1. Yeah. Ball speed is the same, but everything launches up a little bit. Yeah. Spins in that better window. Tighter window. Carries well over the 300. Yeah, right, and that's how you finish a test. In honor of Tiger Woods. In honor of T-dubs. What? You think he'll watch? Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, we, we kind of took what we had, what we had from the original X, nice straight lines. I mean, good launch and spin. I, you know, definitely for me, the launch was a little bit in the low side. Let's yeah. see what was happening. Delivered, loft, speed. Both were super efficient. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's mm -hmm. high efficiency. Yeah. I think earlier on, like the, the X in the settings we had it, you got that low launch, knuckly one that mm. didn't really stay in the air as long. And that's where it didn't see the full total out of it. But the yeah. minute you neutralize that club face in the S, so much better. Definitely. And that's, a, that's, a, that's a significant yeah. jump. If, if all else is equal and, and we can sort of get everything else to sort of come and, and be the same, we're going to take the advantage of having more speed, mm -hmm. good launch conditions, and if we can get it anywhere near the that sort of realm of, of carry distance in, in total, yeah, we're, we're going to take it yeah, for it's sure. Impressive. We'll get there. And, and guys, this is I think um, a little bit of a demonstration of sometimes you don't have to play the shaft that the you know the website says or or you know your pal tells you just because you're X amount of club head speed, it doesn't mean you have to play. That shaft, I, of course I could play the X. Totally. But, you know, you would never be happy, you know, leaving 17 yards of carry on the table. No, I mean, the sp speed designation on, on the website for your for your speed right now, clubhead speed, it says you'd be in a TX version. And we're using, yeah. a, we're using a 50 step, yeah, and, so. And I, I'd, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going the other way. Um, what was clubhead speed? 115 with yeah. a, a high efficiency reading, it's good. Really good. It's good, good stuff. Good striking. Yeah, you know, it felt nice. It felt like I was able to find the, the sweet spot, which is, again, knowing that you've got the timing of the shaft. The shaft is working on point from a deflection standpoint and, obviously, um, a, a sort of coordination yeah, standpoint. Yeah. We've got to be able to put the sweet spot on the ball as we think it should be. So uh, that is Tiger's new shaft. I can't yeah. wait to try it in Tiger's new driver head as well Me and too. see uh, what that, you know, that combo is like. We were just kind of talking about... You know what what players will be finding with that and it, it sounds like that's going to be a heck of a combo be interesting to see from the driving that tiger did on the weekend or mm. throughout the week if you see any more vfs popping up oh in the yeah new year. definitely yeah. from from sort of eric's conversation there's been a lot of requests um for that shaft going uh, going out the door so um expect definitely to see a lot more of those on tour tiger's playing it Oh, devil. Who's the needle? He is the needle. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little breakdown into, again, what shafts can do for your game. Maybe trying some softer ones that you can feel the load and you can maybe go a little bit lighter to offset some length that you want to maybe try if it is the case that you don't sacrifice the accuracy. At first, when we looked at the test, we would probably have said, like, oh, it's a bit of a, bit of a tough one to swallow. Bigger dispersion mm -hmm. out to the right, probably not worth it. But making that little adjustment in the club fit environment, yeah, moving weight fit. settings, it, it makes sense. Get fit, get dialed in. All that potential distance is there, but you've got to have it um, sort of set up for you in the, the correct way. So it makes a huge, huge difference. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.